Hi everyone, I'm Daniel. I'd like to talk a little about a little uh, glitch in the Java web application world um, about null bytes that if under certain circumstances, uh, if the weather is just right and the moon uh, is right, you might get command execution. Uh, next slide. <laughs> So null bytes are by no means new, right? So this class of vulnerabilities has been around for a while ever since someone decided that it's a good idea to terminate strings uh, with a null byte in C. Um, so everyone probably has seen something like that where this is a PHP application where you try to uh, open a file and you give it a prefix and you give it an appendix and in the middle there is an attacker controlled string. So now what an attacker can do is he can get around the prefix, the images folder, but just uh, putting dot dot slash in front of the path that he specifies. Um, and to get rid of the dot jpeg at the end, it's a little bit harder, but he can use a null byte because when that string is passed on to uh, the underlying C library, the uh, string will get cut off at the null byte because C thinks uh, at null the string is terminated. Next slide. So wouldn't it be nice to have something like that for uploads as well? Um, this is a regular upload uh, request as your browser sends it when you upload a file. And as you can see, the file name is sent uh, in a content disposition header in the segment that is for the uploaded file. And that content disposition header has an attribute called file name. And that just carries the name of the file. Now, the naive approach slide um, would be to just use as in the URL a percent zero zero. Uh, to indicate the null byte. However, that doesn't work because the file name in there isn't, null to, uh, isn't URL encoded. So that percent zero zero will never be decoded and you will end up with a file that has the name pip.jsp percent zero zero dot jpeg. Uh, which doesn't get you anywhere, right? Because you want the, ex uh, the extension of the file to be jsp to execute the code and not dot uh, jpeg. Um, now, another approach is to use, next slide please. Um, to use a literal null byte. So historically this never used to work because web servers were written in C, right? And when the web server receives this request, uh, it will just see that content disposition had a right until the .jsp. Um, and the web application framework is probably going to automatically correct that for you, that the quote is open, uh, and just send the string file.jsp onto the web application framework into your web application. So the application will see that the extension is actually .jsp, uh, .jsp and will not allow the file uh, to be stored. Now, as it turns out nowadays, actually, there's a bunch of web servers that aren't written in C, but that are written in Java. And for Java, a uh, null byte in a string is a perfectly valid character. So basically, what's going to happen if you upload something like that to, uh, say, Tomcat? Um, the Tomcat will just pass this request with the entire line, including the null byte, onto the web application framework. You're probably going to use something like Apache Commons file uploads. Uh, Apache uh, Commons file uploads is just going to put the entire string that is in the file name parameter into a class property uh, and will pass that on to the web application itself. Now if the web application doesn't take care, it will validate the string, will read everything after the last dot, which is dot jpeg. Extend time. Um, and we'll say, yes, that's a valid file, and write it to disk, but when it's actually written to disk, uh, it will end up having the JSP extension. Next slide. So what can you do about it? Never just store a file on disk with an attack-controlled file name. Just use an arbitrary file name that you chose yourself, because otherwise you might have collisions anyway if two people upload the same fi uh, a file with the same file name. And also, it's not a good idea at all to like serve files from your main domain where you have authentication cookies because you will be vulnerable to cross-site scripting. Thank you. Uh, do you want to take one quick question with your next 23 seconds? Yeah, sure. <laughs> i repeat the question. What about the website? Oh, oh, yeah. Re repeat the question. What about the weather? Why does it not work sometimes? Well, sometimes if a web application doesn't allow file uploads or doesn't have the necessary functionality or isn't written in Java, it doesn't work. Oh. Cool.